and welcome to the fourth year anniversary podcast of the SC2K. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wee Guy, the J-Man, and the Star Soldier. Hey, yo. Four years. Oh, my God, we did it. Yeah. Yeah, four years, which means we're, they're going to elect a new president of SC2K. I have not been reelected. So, therefore, we guys are president. <laughs> Ooh, popular vote. No. I just made the count. We guys are president. Uh, J-Man's vice president. Uh, Purple's the secretary of state or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Bear's the affair <laughs> I have with. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> I'm just a waiter. Jeez. You were just waiting to say that all night, haven't you? Yeah. Bear's Mon- Monica <laughs> Lewinsky. Right. You'll, you'll be voted <laughs> out of office soon. <laughs> yeah. You'll be impeached. Yeah. Big set scandal. With your like horrible... Did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, four years in the making. I can't believe this channel has been active for four years. Uh, it has some um, slow and fast times up, fast times at Richmond High, uh, fast times at ECW High, uh, <laughs> up and down times as far as video production. Uh, I mean, last year, 2012, was kind of a slow year from the summer and toward the end of the year. And then now we got back on track again, doing uh, videos full time again, Let's Plays. Uh, me and we got been making a comeback and doing that. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, yeah, pre-ECW and four years now. And so, yeah, I mean, and honestly, I think our best years behind us, our best years were 2009, 2010. I mean, you know, oh, and, I mean, so I think our best years are behind us. They don't mean anything's going to suck or go downhill from, from, from here on out. But, you know, we're still doing sure this. Will. We're still doing this, uh, you know, four years. It's safe to say four years strong we've been doing this. Um, and we still have fun doing it. So, yeah, what do you say, say Star Soldier? I hope it's not going to get any worse. <laughs> it can't get any worse than this. No, um, and I forgot which one it was. Was it the second year podcast? Wherever it was where we said it's going to get worse from here. But we were, we were like half joking, I believe. But Wait a minute, that's when I got on. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, well, I did say let's kick 2012's ass, but I think 2012 kicked our ass. <laughs> yeah, it did toward the end. But, I mean, 2013, we had a comeback. The year of, of comeback? I fail. But, year of Luigi. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, what do you say, J-Man? Um, well, okay, I'm going to explain 2012. We all thought we was going to die. So it was like, eh, what's the point? So yeah. <laughs> we survived. That's why it's been a bigger year. Yep. We survived. Exactly. What do you say, we got? Yeah, it's, I can already tell that uh, about six, seven months into 2013, it's kind of convenient how it's in uh, the anniversary is in July, so it's like almost like a half year in review almost, but it's not. But I, I'm already liking 2013 a lot better than last year. And, you yeah. know, we're definitely going to keep get, get some more... Uh, LP's going and such. I mean, we just had the, uh, finished off the trilogy of Uninvited, which was, you know, already Uninvited's one of my favorite commentaries of the year, but let's not jump to conclusions yet. Uninvited is a trilogy? Well, I meant, like, we finished off the Icon Simulation uh, game. Pwned, 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 pwned. It, oh, okay, okay. it was the Shadowgate trilogy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Icon Simulation's uh, point-and-click trilogy. Deja what Vu it? sequel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are fun. But let's go ahead and start from the beginning, from last year's uh, anniversary. Uh, of course, we did the 30th anniversary podcast, which is an hour and 39 minutes long. Uh, that was pretty fun. I forgot who, who was in that. Well, I can look. <laughs> I'm right here. Um, uh. Yeah, so if YouTube hurry up and freaking load after I click the dadgum description box. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Time Warner Turbo Internet. Um, okay. Yeah, so last year, you know, it was me, Gen 2, and Star Soldier, and Wee Guy, and J-Man, and that one, and X1 Saint. Oh, wait, no, that's the intro maker. Dang it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we were all in that last year. Uh, a good, long podcast. It, it was real fun. And so, yeah, the third year anniversary podcast, pre-ECW. All the podcasts pretty much do, except the NFL one. It's been ECW. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing. All right, you, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, it turned out horrible. How's yeah. That? Yeah, really. Um, and so, yeah, uh, and then after that, 
we continued uh, finishing up the uh, Link to the Past LP. And that's when uh, Wee Guy was in that one. Uh, my friend Laura, who I used to work with, big Zelda fan, was in that one. The only video she's been on here in the S2K. So yeah, Link to the Past, uh, that was the LP that got delayed for, I think six months because in, from July to like December, uh, no, to November actually, because like part eight of Link to the Past was uploaded on July 26th and then part nine was not uploaded until November 12th. So that LP took a while. That was when I was living in the house and just working, you know, two jobs and stuff, and it was just not enough free time like I have now uh, to do videos. And so Link to the Past, you know, it's a Zelda game, and those games are long and challenging. So it kind of took a while to get that project done, but that was a pretty, a pretty fun uh, project, huh, we got? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, how can you get better than that game to commentate on? Yeah, it was my second favorite. That's my second favorite Zelda game of all time. Um, yeah, yeah. And but right after part eight of A Link to the Past, on August first, we did the our favorite TV shows podcast. Oh yeah, yeah wasn't that my idea? I think so. I think J Man and Purple was in that one. Oh yeah, they yep. were. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, that was real fun. I think there's a few shows I forgot to mention. Like, ah, oh, dang, I can't believe I forgot this or that. And there's audio problems in that one because I I would be cut out a lot. I'm like, yeah, oh, man, I didn't get my point across in that part. That podcast was two hours and 14 minutes. Whoa. That might have been the longest one we've ever done out right there. Well, a lot of TV yeah. shows to talk about, man. Yeah, really. Pamela just quit on that one. <laughs> Pamela was like, all right, that's enough, guys. Seriously. Like, all right, you guys got to get yeah. life. I'm out of here. I'm yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it raged quit on us. I'm a program, and I have things to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... On August 3rd, Gen 2 uploaded his sneak peek of Fantasy Star 4, which he has not done yet. <laughs> yeah, I have a bad feeling that probably won't get fleshed out. Yeah. We got, you you got to do it for him. He, yeah. No, he, he usually records, like, already has, like, played the game full. I don't think he's recorded anything beyond that yet, probably. Because I haven't gotten anything from him. Yeah. Then it was a teaser. Yeah. Yeah. The taser. <laughs> taser. Taser, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and on December 11th, what was that? Uh, she was laughing at you. Oh. <laughs> or laughing with you. What yeah, you both. Against you. Um, yeah. yeah, so, and on December 11th, 2012, five years later after uh, X Gemini's passing, we did the Tribute to X Gemini podcast. I think that was, me, yeah, it was me and Green. Uh, yeah, about 24 minutes. So yeah, I figured the fifth year anniversary, I need you know, I should talk about him uh, some more and do an actual podcast on him. We done I've done tributes before, and I did we did a Mega Man three tribute on here before also. Uh, me yeah. and Green and Star Soldiers in one part. I think we got was too. Yeah, I was. Yeah, and say so it was good to do a podcast for him. Um, and then right after that, on December twentieth, we got started. Let's play Codename Viper. No. Oh. Uh, the uh, first of a uh, strain of Gentoo's LPs that he recorded that I decided to take upon myself to actually put commentary for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kone I Viper. I hate that game. Yeah. What do you think about that game, Star Soldier? It was a pretty good, I don't know, Roll and Thunder type game or Shinobi type game. Yeah. <laughs> they seem to rip off one another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I rented it from, I rented it from, uh, I think, Flix when I was a kid. And uh, I rented because I think it said Capcom on the box. Oh, this must be a good game. So, and I rented it. It was not bad. And I love the soundtrack, especially the ending music. But it was too hard for me to beat, so I got Game Genie and beat it. And, you know, I enjoyed it uh, back in the day. Uh, I don't think it's that really that bad of a game. Why doesn't this guy have pants on? <laughs> God. He does. You just got to use your imagination. Oh, well, that's, a, that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, Jamie, you'd imagine a better game. Uh, yeah, don't be caught with your pants down. All right. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. January 5th, 2013, we went ahead and did the S2K show 2012 Year in Review. Uh, and with the terrible quality, that was all my fault because the new Pamela or something messed up, and I had to get rid of this dumb static that was, or popping that was... Up there. It's yeah, it's so annoying. Oh. 
Man, I, I, I don't. I, audio. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. No. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and that podcast was an hour and 19 minutes long. And there was one podcast, I forgot what it was, probably 2011, 2012, where uh, Star Soldier finally was able to speak. We couldn't hear him at first. He was trying ah. to talk, and he goes, ah! He goes, oh, wait, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept on screaming, and hopefully one time you would hear me. Yeah. And it, and it worked. Yep. And thus, the voice of Star Soldier was born into the SC2K channel. Yep. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> And then, January 21st, we got his LP or Gen 2's LP. Let's play, oh, that's, not, that's actually, let's play Discuss, Wolverine, January 21st. And not, before that, a little bit before that is where he started the LP of Wolverine for the NES. Yep. And sadly had the terrible quality on J-Man's end, which, you know, yeah. this shit happens. It happens. And it's, you know uh, that was the hotel voice. Yeah, that was the transition voice of J-Man's. Yeah. That, that sucked. Uh, I had to use the the laptop's microphone, and it was awful. Yeah, I hated that. Hated it. Yeah. But me and Star Soldier, who was in it, we had some good banter between the game. Yeah. Like the, uh, uh <laughs> so I was just saying the, uh, mentioning, like, the Atari Sabretooth. <laughs> that was a funny comment. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, what Dude, was I from think? Atari. Yeah, I remember yeah. the AVGN's review, the freaking hot dog on, on a propeller. Come on. The hamburger? Yeah. Yeah. So I got that without getting hit, and I was like, suck it! You know, you get all, all these uh, fast foods for power-ups. What is this, Green Dog? Come on. Ooh, anyway. Green Dog. Sounds, uh, deadly. Green Dog. <laughs> Take a Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I did oh, a long yeah. time, no play of that, a long time ago. Um, I think you're the only one who played it. Yeah, and when I was a kid, I gave it away to somebody because I don't really care about it no more. I mean, when I first got it, it was pretty fun because, you know, I'm not used to, I was, I thought it was so cool in my apartment complex because I was thinking I was the only kid that I knew of, of all my friends that had a Sega Genesis, and I got the uh, model that uh, did not come with the game, so I did not have Sonic 1 yet, and I didn't have a game. My grandpa bought me Green Dog because it was a coupon in the catalog, and he's one of those thrifty grandparents. So he got my green yeah. dog, and yeah, uh, yeah, Gunstar Hero Twenty One dog, no. Um, Is it like Dog the Bounty Hunter? Uh, that's the same way I got Snake Rattle and Roll. Uh, cool. Ten bucks. Man, I'm... and I got Lull's dog. No, um. Okay, and then we continue on with the Link to the Past LP in Part Fifteen. The one that, that Laura was in, for some reason, that part, I don't know why. I mean, I post a lot of videos on the YouTube Gaming Community Facebook group. But this one, part 15, got 107 views and like four thumbs up, three thumbs down. But, but the most views out of the entire, well, no, yeah, the entire LP, that got the most views. Well, someone, I think someone posted saying, uh, someone posted a comment saying, George W. Bush plays A Link to the Past. And I guess to talk about me, I guess I kind of sound like George W. Bush. I don't know. <laughs> and then I responded oh. saying, that's funny because the co-commentator's name is Laura. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow. Laura Bush. Tomb Raider? Oh, no. <laughs> and, um, so, and then uh, right after that, uploaded January 29th. I forgot about this. So I don't remember it. It's still in private. It's still unlisted. Mortal Kombat 1. I, I don't know if it's the arcade version or what, but. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if that was meant to be LP on here, and we never did it, or did we do it? I don't even <laughs> remember doing a Mortal Kombat LP. Isn't that Jinsu's thing? Maybe it is. It still hasn't been done yet. Uploaded January 29th. Wow. So yeah, and I remember Green tried to do that for me, but it, once again, you know, Green and video quality just don't go together. <laughs> well, and well, it's like skipping real bad. He goes, "Dang, I know that my computer." How do you not notice that on your own computer? I don't, did you test it before you released it or uploaded it? No, he has a Mac. Ah, maybe that's why. Yep. He's the Mac daddy. Probably got some cheese in it. <laughs> that's stereotypical racism. Just because he's from Philadelphia yeah. doesn't mean he has uh, Philadelphia cheesesteaks all the time. And I'm 
Yeah. That's racist, racist, and you're about to have a hit. I'm not being racist album. to him. I'm being racist to the food. Well, your Dude. face is racist. No, um. You know what? You're right. And you know what? His baby brother did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. And February 2nd, let's play Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. woo Yeah. Good game. Yeah, no, no. pretty good soundtrack. I just hated the fact that there was no audio in the LP, but that's okay. Yeah, my editing wasn't good that day for some reason or something. I guess. I had a green moment, except it was the opposite with the volume being too low. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's better than the volume too high where you can't hear commentary. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Someone's alarm is going off or something. That's Brian, is there a fire? <laughs> Somebody's playing uh, 2600 here. 1942. Yeah. Sorry, that was my alarm. <laughs> Commentary type, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> I worked some late hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. And February 4th is when I finally finished A Link to the Past. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, very fun LP. I finished on there, A Link to the Past, a lot quicker than Ocarina of Time LP is going. And. Okay, so, yeah. and the next LP, February 6th, let's play Streets of Rage Remake. Oh, yeah, the start of an awesome, another awesome LP. Yes, love that game to death. The replay value is unbelievable on there. Love it. Very fun remake from, from Bomber Games. Uh, if Sega was smart, they would have hired these people instead of saying, oh, cease and desist, like a bunch of butthurt idiots. So, I mean, it, this is an awesome game. I still play it every now and then to unlock new stuff. And, maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe Nintendo told Sega to do that. Yeah, well, no. I mean, because Sega owns that, not Nintendo. I know, but doesn't Nintendo own Sega? No. I mean, they might as well. <laughs> no, Sega's a third-party company. They don't, they don't mean... They might as well own them, though. No, they can't. No, because, I mean... I, I mean, you know, like, Sega's pretty much Nintendo's bitch now. So, yeah, well, if that's the case, then Capcom... You, but, bitch, listen up. You better well, tell this <laughs> guy who's trying to create that game, you better let him know. Well, why would Nintendo care? Because, well, why does Nintendo care about uh, LPers uploading Nintendo games? Yeah, oh, we got to put the, advertisements on that shit. Well, that's Nintendo games that were made and copyrighted by Nintendo. Street of Rage is copyrighted by Sega. I understand, but Sega's Nintendo's bitch now. Well, that guess Capcom and Konami and and all these other companies are too. But I don't know if the Wii used to doing well enough for them to have bitches right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're they're just biding their time. They're all uh, bitches. But Street Rage remake definitely a fun LP, ECW esque <laughs> gameplay. Yeah, and um, you had the f two funny moments in that LP. Oh yeah, Gen Two on steroids. Yes. Uh, I haven't had a crack up like that in a while. <laughs> and what was the other one? Uh, wasn't it the uh, Star Soldier thing? His uh, oh yeah, where the he supposed to do the uh, l a pre-recorded let's discuss, and then he thought I Star Soldier thought I meant to do uh pretend like you're doing the final level commentary. So he goes, oh yeah, baby, we're in the final level here. I'm like, no, 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 we're doing the let's discuss, <laughs> not not commentary over gameplay footage. <laughs> oh okay, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Still cracks me up. I just love just that for some reason. It doesn't outtake. <laughs> All right, Gary, now, Star Soldier. Oh, yeah, we're on a final level here. I'm like, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I meant to do that on purpose or not. Oh, I, have uh, to and I, and I think it's a legit mistake because you, like, really apologize for it. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> and had, yeah. Uh, and then... Let's discuss uh, Street Rage remake Star Soldiers in the thumbnail. Oh yeah, the classic photo. Yeah. Look badass. Yeah. Also, I think probably Star Soldiers one of his first lols takes, so that's probably why he did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you, ha you have to have a blooper reel, so. Um, that's what we're gonna put down the S2K DVD when it comes out next year. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> we're gonna print ten copies. Yeah. We'll sell two. Sell three copies. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, and March third, let's play, pay, let's play, Pictionary for the NES. 
Oh yeah, that's me. That's original. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Had to do it for the following music. I thought it was gonna be boring because like just nothing but a Monopoly board game or something. Or but no, it's actually the way they did it made it a little bit more entertaining. And uh, yeah, it's one of those games like you know Monopoly or T- Anticipation. Uh, you know, pretty fun uh, uh, trivia game. Yeah, not bad. Visual trivia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trivial fact. It's a good LJN game. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Good and LGN go together? Huh. Yes, especially with the music. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you had uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, David Wise, music, so yeah. No, yeah, there's like one, maybe two of their published games that didn't have that even good of music. I think... Oh, hell, I need to look up a list. That it's, I'm trying to think of their NES games, because... I don't know. I, I I love even like you know Back to the Future two and three. That one actually had good tunes, and uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure actually had good agreed. tunes. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you, yeah, Jamin. Another good track. thing about it. I've seen AVGN's Bill and Ted's review, but I didn't hear the soundtrack. Uh, yeah, there's actually I... not really a soundtrack. There's like a thirty second song that plays, and then the rest is just silence. Shit. He, he got Nintendo too. He got Nintendo. Everybody's getting Nintendo. Yeah. Um, well, no, yeah. I heard they're crack. I mean, cracking, cracking up. They're uh, not cracking they down. Are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're cracking. They're not cracking down. They're like uh, easing up on the LP stuff. So well, I heard they were taking into consideration. I read that somewhere. Yeah, I just wish these video game companies would just relax on that. How is it hurting them really? Yeah. I can understand downloading. What well, like. The whole thing is stupid. Downloading ROMs and emulators, I know we did a whole podcast of that, but, you know, like, even that, even though I don't agree with it, I can somewhat understand them saying, well, that could hurt us because we want to put it on the Wii Virtual Console and you're downloading it for free off of ROMs.net or whatever. It's but, the, you know what? It's the gamer's fault for not buying the Wii U. If we had <laughs> more Wii U's, uh, just not happening. It's our punishment. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's and, Nintendo's fault for releasing Zombie U and uh, ports of. Oh, it's all new Super Mario Brothers. Honest. Same music, same gameplay as. It's yeah, a little was. bit different. It's not that bad. Come on. I mean, like <laughs> it's a little bit different. It should be a lot different. <laughs> we hey, got Mario needs a machine gun. Hey, with them releasing games that have already been out like for the past year on other consoles, that's like, come on. I but, think yeah, she's right. We, uh, up. We got, uh, yeah, you got Nintendo. Yeah. You're working, you're working for them. Uh, yeah. I can't, I, well, I would, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm too busy getting their older games before I get their new stuff. It's Wait, a you haven't got all the games yet? I mean, I'm, you know, collecting <laughs> all the games. <laughs> I, you're almost a spy. You haven't quite gotten there yet, so you don't get all the new stuff yet. Well, I'm. I choose not to. I could, but I. I don't. I gotta get. I gotta get that stadium events, man. I gotta save up for that. <laughs> what, you don't already have it. Well, yeah, but it's a repro that I made. I wrote stadium events on a piece of paper and I put it in my system. It doesn't play right though. Oh. <laughs> did you? Uh, did you blow on it? <laughs> oh, that's what I. Duh. Of course. What was I thinking? And but Richard of Utech USA made a good point in this video recently. How he said, you know, uh, talking about Nintendo starting to uh, be lenient on third-party stuff, and how like, you know, when we LP a game on YouTube, it, it's not going to hurt the company, make them lose money, because yeah, it it gets uh, you can see the whole game. I understand want people to buy it and play it and see the ending and all that instead of seeing it on YouTube. But I mean, one of the reasons why people check out these gameplay videos is to learn how to beat them or to see what the game is like. If they want to be spoiled, then that's their prerogative. Let them be spoiled. It's going to either help them influence their decision on buying the game, or uh, and that's probably what Nintendo is thinking of. It might influence them not to buy it because they saw how much it sucks. And well, I mean, that's too bad. I, I mean, if anything, it can really help help them out by seeing what the game looks like by someone playing it on YouTube. And even though they may like it on YouTube, I mean, they're going to want to still actually buy it and play it. If it's that good of a game, they'll go out and buy it, not just watch it on YouTube. So it might actually up sales, if anything. Well said. Yeah, I got that. Because I usually want to buy a game that I, you know, watch someone play. 
Yeah. You know, if I had the consoles, but I don't. I mean, that's how I got through probably half of the LPs on S2K is going to YouTube and find out what the heck to do. And so, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's good feedback as well. Yeah. You know, to, yeah, to Nintendo. Game, if uh, people don't like the game, well, they, they know where to step up. Yeah. People are giving you know, great what, reviews to games like Earthbound and everything, and they're buying them like crazy on eBay. If yeah. they Nintendo would actually re-release the game again, boom, they get all these sales again. Yeah, virtual console. Yeah, man. That's why yeah. I want a Wii U. Woo! Yeah. Bro, time, yeah. too. Holy crap. It should have been released on the Wii Virtual Console, not just the Wii U. Holy. Yeah. yeah. And... Did this turn right. into a next-gen podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anybody have a Wii U, actually? Nope. My friend does. I'm going to get one before the end of the year. Nice. Thank you. I still have no plans on getting one because, I don't know, I think the only good game on there is new Super Mario Brothers with you. And that's it. <laughs> I can't think of another good one. Yeah, uh, and they already did it. So. Well, you're probably not looking into the library because, you, you know, you're already not interested. There's already a few other good hits on it, but, you know, definitely like, by the end of the year, like, they'll be... Like new Wii Sports and new... <laughs> New, new game that already came out two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> or a new Legend of Zelda. I think they're making that, right? Mm-hmm. Zelda U. We make? Yeah, Zelda U. Well, there's that. That would the... be cool. And also, if they, if, okay, if they didn't do the, uh, I believe it was Team Ninja Metroid, like if they went back, you know, to, to the basics with Metroid. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not the basics, a good version U. Not yeah. that awful Metroid, uh, other M. I, I don't even want to remind you yet. Damn it. I was so naive. That was so quaint. No. I was so indecisive in my decisions to blast that alien. It made me so indecisive. What should I do next? What should I do? Am I authorized? My mm. <laughs> boobs are so no. perky. <laughs> well, I'm authorized to move on to the next LP that was done on this 2K. March 4th, let's play Deja Vu. Woohoo, yeah! I love it so much. Yeah. And honestly, I love that game. <laughs> I love that game. I think Deja Vu is okay. Uh, it's not I the best out in the three. Deja Vu is okay. What? What? Okay, anyway. Yeah, um, I'll see you anyway. All right, and so and then part three was, uh, I called it ECW Vu, which is Should have one of them, uh... Kung Fu, just to throw people off. Yeah, Let's Kung play Kung Fu. Kung Fu, Wait a minute. you. <laughs> and Come on, Nintendo, make it happen. Yeah. And the next LP, done by Wee Guy, April 5th. Let's play Monster in My Pocket. Yep. Uh, spoilers, uh, still haven't uploaded the last part. It's only a four-parter, and when was that first part uploaded? Like, freaking three months ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was, oh, why am I so slow on that one? I should have already had that done. Well, you're in college. Yeah, that was like at the start of me uh, starting that, so I was just kind of busy. Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to be like Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, take forever in LPs. You're trying to beat my record. Yeah, <laughs> Ronnie already did it. it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Ronnie already did it. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. <laughs> but the game's pretty cool. Yeah, fun game from Konami. Oh yeah, and I I love our commentary, and that was got bear in it. Like after yeah. like forever, and yeah. of course he said some. Not slanderous, I was about to say it. Just some, you know, the usual stuff. Yeah. Except I actually brought upon some of the the ridiculousness. I was just getting ridiculed. <laughs> but, you know, still. What do you expect? Yeah. It's Bear, it's 2 k it's fun times. Yep. And then, the next LP started, May 22nd, Let's Play Uninvited. Yes! Yeah. Now we can talk about Uninvited. One... The best game out of the three uh, Shadowgate series, or whatever you call it. Um, Icom Games. I, go. I, I really think it's, it's the best out of all three. My favorite is still Shadowgate, but honestly, I think the best one is Uninvited. Um, I invite all of you listening to watch it. And you see what I did there? Uh, and, I reject. Yeah, and so Uninvited, very fun game. Very scary game. You know, I mean, definitely scarier than Shadowgate. Um, if I were to play when I was a kid, I'd definitely have been freaked out. Uh, the red skeleton's freaking creepy, especially the part where you possess the ruby and you keep getting, trying to, you know, that evil spirit's trying to possess you every 
10 minutes and then uh it's it, the, the soundtrack in the game is very epic we got just uploaded the 8-bit stereo soundtrack of uninvited shameless plug who and let's a bit stereo is never shameless yeah and i mean uninvited is a very good game very fun a lot of fun random lousy stuff happens in it and made j-man go what the heck is this Yes, like, there is a bathroom without a toilet in it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what got him. Yeah, really. Yep. And that's a nightmare in itself. Um, yep. <laughs> the game is a sweet soundtrack. I said before, but I'll talk about it again. Sweet soundtrack, especially the ending music, because the whole game is all scary, eerie, gray skies, kind of eerie, but catchy music. And then in the end, you know, when you beat uh, the final boss, which looks very kind of similar to the Banshee in Shadowgate that comes out of the coffin screaming at you. Mm-hmm. Um, after you beat that boss, you know, the final boss, and then you go in the backyard and you meet your sister, who don't remember what happened, because I guess she was possessed. And, you know, everything's all, you know, beautiful, beautiful day. A beautiful day in the valley. And it was just, uh, you know, the good ending music. The ending could have been better. They could have showed some more, like maybe show that old man talking to you. Thank you for freeing this house of the curse or whatever. And the game has some really good twists in it because I thought Draken, I pretty much thought Draken was going to be the final boss. He wasn't. I guess he was the one that, you know, brought the evil spirits in the house. And then the final boss is some pink nightmare. I guess you fight Ralphie from a Christmas story. And it's like. Uh, I thought the Red Skull was the boss of the game. What was that red thing always showing up when you get game over? I don't know. Skull anyway, yeah, yeah, and very good game and a very fun LP. What do you guys think? Oh, we love it. I mean, how could you forget the spaghetti, the Stellini? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we got got possessed by the Lulz ghost. I I, pre- I I really did. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> what do you think, Star Lose- Soldier? That was a really good game. I liked it. Yeah, Star Soldier made an appearance in there, the talking statue head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I was still there. And yeah, they basically just uh, called the game Steel and Crap. Yeah, they really. Take everything in the game. Oh, there's a cup of flour. I'll take that. Oh, it's there's pretty... a part of the wall. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty we... much like Deja Vu. Yeah. I. Deja vu. Oh, we've done this before. And, but it reminds me of Shockey 64 in terms of you pick up everything. But, of course, this game's much more fun. And Shockey 64... Well, every, like, every that is, you know, pretty much better. Yeah, and, and like Shockey 64, you pick up a flower. Yeah, you do dumb stuff here, too, but it's still, like, and it's, it does seem pointless. I don't know why they added that in Deja Vu and... and uh, un- Uninvited. I know in Shellgate, everything you pick up, I think, does have use. Even brooms and stuff, because you may need that to answer the Sphinx's riddle. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I think everything in Shellgate can have a use to them. But in Deja Vu and Uninvited, that from what I know, some of those items are freaking useless unless you can use them on something just to see something cool happen that doesn't progress you further in the game. I don't know. Yeah, but did we ever find use for the sausage? Um, I think you can eat it, but I never did that, did I? Uh, not that I remember. Yeah. I would have remembered if something was done to the sausage. Yeah. I'm sure you would. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for contributing. And Uninvited is a very awesome game. Probably one of the best LPs I've done on the S2K. Oh, yeah. And from there, just started on July 6th. We are now doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. And so far, parts one and two have been uploaded, and so far, a pretty fun LP from a, from a game that I really played to death when I was a child, from my childhood. So, yeah. What you guys oh, got to say about that it. game? Loving it. Love the soundtrack. It be stereo. Yep. Loving it. What do you think, Star Soldier? <laughs> I think the soundtrack is probably the best part of the game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's some other parts I like about the game, like the Tenodrome battle, even though you're, the Tenodrome should be bigger. But, I mean, you know, for what it is, when I was a kid, fighting the Tenodrome is freaking epic. And the boss battle music that goes with it. Um, and oh, what else did I say was awesome? Uh, before that Tenodrome, oh yeah, me and J-Man talking about 
how awesome it was when you see Shredder on the HD TV and his hands popping out, talk pointing at you, talking to you. That part was cool as a kid. It wasn't that. cool. It looked stupid. You didn't like that when you were a kid? Awesome. I thought it looked cool. You didn't like it that? It looked unprofessional. Well, I mean, it's an old NES game, so what? I mean, <laughs> it's like <laughs> he's not on TV. He's uh, sticking his head out of a fake TV, and his hand is sticking out. He's What's right that? there inside the TV. Well, no, see, Shredder is I larger than life. I think that makes it even more awesome. See, Shredder is larger than life. He's so intimidating, it makes you feel like he's about to pop so out of the TV and kill you. And so his hand is slightly out of the TV. And back then, that was HD. And so little kids, that was HD, EC, HD CW. Because that was freaking awesome. And, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool as a kid. And, you know, looking back at that. and Yeah, and, and you know, and for those of you who remember the cover box... All the turtles are wearing red. So I guess are they all Raphael? Well, it turns out the game is actually based more on the comic book rather than the 80s cartoon. It kind of is based on the 80s cartoon. It's kind of like the first Ninja Turtles movie. Parts of it is based off the cartoon, and but it seems like the original storyline is more based off of the comic book. I guess that's so, how they... That's uh, what they maybe, maybe they didn't get like a, uh, like a license... Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe there's like stipulations in there. Like, who knows? Because it, it did come out on Ultra Games. Yeah. And not straight Konami. Yeah. And if you notice in the cover box, uh, I think one of the turtles' foot, the heel of their foot is like messed up. The art, the artist really messed up on it. Yeah. It's all deformed. They had a uh, yeast infection. What? Wow. So the boss of the game is. Uh, Dr. Shoals. Here we go. Shoal Castle. Oh. Man. Here we go. Shoal Castle. Hell yeah. And, see, yeah. I enjoyed the game. I was embarrassed, though, when I was a kid because I couldn't find the entrance to the water level, uh, to the water part of the dam. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it, it was all good, and uh, the ending sucks. You wanted, to, you wanted to, like, go hiking, turtle hiking. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I enjoyed the game when I was a kid. But, yeah, I definitely had some... Stupid things in it and, and frustrating parts of it. Cool, we, cool. So that's uh, definitely another fun LP of 2013 we're working on. Yeah. And I, I should mention that Mega Man 4 should be a part of this list. So spoilers. Oh, actually, before. I'll try and get part one up at least before this possibly gets uploaded. Um, but yeah, because we already recorded like many parts. Yeah, of we're like six parts in. Four. Yeah, five. Something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be five. Yeah. But I'll get that up, and then... Yeah, yeah. Mega Man 4 will be up before this is uploaded, so that should yeah. be a part of the list. But we're not discussing it, because at the time of this recording, it is not uploaded. Very sorry about that. It's Me it's Jinsu's LP. But I'm not going to over it. Actually, <laughs> I guess, like, you know, we kind of are discussing it. Yeah. Oops. Welcome to the Let's Discuss the Discussion of Mega Man 4. Let's spoil Mega Man 4. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the game is great. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a Mega Man. You jump and shoot. Yeah. Six out of ten. Uh, uh, spoiler, it's Dr. Wily again. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah. What? That asshole. It's not their Dr. Cossack? No. Ballsack? <laughs> yeah, it's not Dr. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, yeah. But he was um, such an exciting character. Or, or his twin daughters. <laughs> okay, well, they would be the ball set. Okay, anyways. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. <laughs> well, and so that's all we have right now for uh, the remainder of, of for so far in 2013. And for the Ford University podcast, uh, we've definitely got more LPs along the way. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the summer of ECW has been underway. And the year of ECW has already started in, in June when I moved out, got my own place again, and had more free time to do videos and stuff again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, I guess before we close the podcast, uh, I know I'll let you guys say something here in a minute. Uh, we're going to go on a roundtable discussion, I guess, of uh, the four years I guess, that we've done this. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this channel, again, has been meant for fun, not to really uh, do any perfect speed runs or perfect gameplay runs or whatever. And I make a lot of mistakes in my videos anyway, regardless of what channel I play them on. Um, yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's it's still a laid-back, fun channel. Uh, you know, we just do this for fun, and, I mean, uh, we still have fun doing it. I know it's mainly been me and we got recently, 
possibility that J-Man could make a comeback. Um, and, yeah, and so, I mean, uh, I think Gen 2 is probably going to hopefully make a comeback, too, maybe this year, hopefully. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and yeah, we have been slow in doing podcasts because I guess we ran out of ideas. Um, but, yeah, I mean, past four years, you know, we're still going. And uh, I remember back in, you know, the in 2009 we started this. Uh, January, January, July 20th, 2009. Uh, we started this, and uh, it was a very fun beginning. Uh, Metroid LP, Dirty Harry, Star Tropics. I mean, that first year was epic, and then yep. second year. Jeff's yeah. mom. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> She's uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, your mom's cool. I want to meet her. Uh, okay. <laughs> and and then he fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, the past four years have been pretty epic. Um yeah, the first two years were the best ones. The last two years, though, have uh, still been good, uh, but not as good. But, I mean, you know, how how are you going to top the first two years, especially 2009? I mean, you know. It, no way. Yeah, there's really no way. If we do, then that's going to be interesting. But uh, it's kind of like wrestling now. I mean, <laughs> wrestling is past its prime. You're not going to get the glory years of the Attitude Era ever again, most likely. But you can still put on good products, uh, and, and good shows and stuff, and, and have a good time. So, yeah, I mean, this is why I, I enjoy doing this channel more than I enjoy doing the Rom War channel because uh, usually on the Rom War channel, for the most part, it's, I guess, just me. Uh, if it's, uh, like, maybe a Let's Play. I know recently I've been doing a lot of co-commentary on there. That's probably why because, you know, I have more fun commentating when there's other people. When it's by myself, uh, it's not that bad, but it's, it's kind of boring in comparison to co-commentary. And so that's why I enjoy working on the S2K channel more than I do the Rommore channel. And, and some people will probably disagree and say, well, I like the Rommore channel better. And that's cool. Um, but the S2K channel is just uh, not that I stress myself out so much on the Rommore channel, which is why it takes me so long to do Ocarina of Time and finish that. Uh, it's just more fun and laid back. You know, it's a collab channel. Uh, you know, we don't have to try so hard. Just do gameplay, enjoy it, have fun, and uh, yeah, ECW. So he's not, another great year. Looking forward to the fifth year anniversary podcast. Oh yeah. But before that, I'm looking forward to the 2013 year review podcast, where you know I'm pretty sure we can look back and say this is a great year for us 2K. And then the fifth year anniversary, we can say it's a, it's a great uh, you know um, five years on the S2K. So yeah. Yeah, all right. What do, you, what do you say, Star Soldier? I say it's been a pretty good year so far, and yeah, it's, I'm sorry that it's a fourth year. I get to see all these cool Nintendo games again, see you know, full playthroughs and all that. Especially since <laughs> I never completed Uninvited before. Ah, I know, I know, I'm gonna get a lot of heat for that one because being a world champion and all, and you never complete Uninvited, but. Now I get to see it, and <laughs> I get to, you know, see the ending and not have to play it now. Well, and not, not, everybody can, it either. not everybody can be Skip Rogers. I mean, yeah, you are a world champion, but no one is Skip Rogers. No. Or me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Ghost Bro. Oh. Right, anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's been the great year you know looking at all these games again and i would have to agree that looking at all these games again makes me want to play them and makes me want to buy them so nintendo you can screw off with all your license and stuff you know people yeah, would suck act, it. Suck yeah, it, Nintendo. people want to play these games after looking at the videos at least that's what i want to do even though i already own, own your games <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if I want to get some Super Nintendo or N64, yeah, maybe I'll look up some videos and all that. Because I already own all the 8-bit games. Except for Peekaboo Poker and Hot Slots. Oh, they're so expensive. Come on, Nintendo, why are those games $1,000? It's not their fault. They didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do you... Come on, Nintendo, buy those nudie games and put them on your Wii Virtual Console. Oh, scandalous. <laughs> Do you own Barbie? Yeah, I own Barbie. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a porno game, too. 
<laughs> oh. oh god no all right. please yeah. all right yeah. what, do you, <laughs> what do you say what do you got i yeah i mean still okay, nothing you know, okay still, no, never mind okay no, I, sorry, fine. Sorry. Just, <laughs> just trample over me why don't you whoa i was waiting for you <laughs> shit i probably won't even get mentioned it's dramatic tension it was dramatic we'll get on talking and be like all right guys that's it <laughs> No J-Man. Forget about J-Man. Hey, I'm saving the best for last. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Weegee? Yeah, but no, I mean, still going for you, it's, it's great. I still always think back to my first appearance in Wrath of the Black Manta Part 3 on August 3rd, 2009. I mean, definitely four years ago. I was friggin' 15. I was relatively young. Just that game sucked. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Music wasn't too bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. that bad. Just not exciting Fuck in any way. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... It's a great time commenting. I remember my <laughs> thrusting into SCK with Target Renegade. Still just a classic. Whoa. <laughs> <for everyone. laughs> for J -Man, thrusting J -Man. into Target yeah. Renegade? That didn't sound right. <laughs> no, it's not, it was all it, right. Considering how much I love it, why not? Oh, uh, now now we guys being targeted. <laughs> oh, looks like I'm a renegade. <laughs> okay. I'll, my bad. My bad. I'll stop. I'll stop. Oh, wow. Look at that. j -Man's stopping. <laughs> he raised stopped. Okay, let, let we got finished before he busts somebody in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's about it. I mean, just a lot of great moments. I definitely love being a part of this. It's, like I said, sometimes when you're doing things on your own channel, kind of by yourself, usually you're just like, you know, sometimes you get tired or just it's not as exciting as commenting with a bunch of buddies. We love these games. And, of course, just countless in-jokes and just, you know. Countless things. puns. Yeah, countless puns and jokes just many ridiculous ones like, uh, J Man's favorite, uh, my sweet sixteen in Super Metroid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Never yeah. forget, never forget the sweet sixteen of Wii Guy. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, I'm in a car. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. And one of my personal favorites, uh, the star power makes the black turn white. Oh man. Oh oh man, <laughs> I thought that was uh, censored. <laughs> no man, I'm not. That was Crap. censored. <laughs> And yeah. the part is still called We Guy Will Fix It. I never fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. I love it. <laughs> you know, that, that was probably just something Bear was going to say, and I just went ahead and said it for him, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you took it upon yourself. There was one time where J-Man accidentally said, uh, I don't know what he said, I think he accidentally said the N-word, or he went to say... Oh, yeah, that was uh, during Wrath of the Black Mana. Yeah. But that uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it was this. Okay, yeah. And what was she trying to say? But <laughs> I forgot. And you uh, like, Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then after the recording, yeah. you go, yeah, you know what? Um, I Can think... Can you please, like, kind of take that out? Yeah, because I don't want people uh, posting hate comments thinking I'm being racist and... I thought, like, people were, was actually watching us. <laughs> Well, now I know better, so I can say whatever the hell I want, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, be careful what you say. You might end yeah. up with a 10-year prison sentence. Well, I mean, then we got Star Soldier on board, and then I was like, oh, crap, I better watch myself again. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm not a better agent or anything like that. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm Canadian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so which one can I send to jail? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Who has the best collection? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so we got you have any, anything else yep. to add? Oh, yeah, I could add a lot more of just the jokes and the things we, we've, you know, all the in-jokes and all, but no, just I hope to keep making more, you know, of those jokes and just keep SC2K going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. J-Man? Well, um, okay, this last year, I actually have an excuse for not doing, basically, jack squat. 
and that is I made a big move uh, from Indiana to Texas, and that was, yeah, it was kind of a life-changing experience. My time was uh, not as lax as it used to be. So that explains like half of the year. The other half, well, I don't know. I guess I've been lazy. Really just unmotivated. Kind of like 2012 and well, most of 2011 as well. But in the next year, I plan to do more stuff. I'm going to be kicking him in the butt to make Nice. It. She will a turn doing that. <laughs> well, okay, she probably will. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> oh, it's fair. Motivation. I tell you what would be fun. To see Purple do LP. Oh, God, no. You know what? If there was a, like, a My Little Pony for the NES, <laughs> she would be all over it. Yeah. It's a ROM hack of Super Mario Bros. 2 with pony characters. <laughs> she's nice. like a she's like a, a girl brony. She's like a grony. Oh, don't make me. <laughs> it's a Pega sister, you dummy. But I, I like grony. Grony's kind of... <laughs> you were the first ever grony. It has now been inducted. Oh, my God. You know what? If that becomes a meme, uh, all payments to uh, J-Man Enterprises. Or, yeah, uh, within whatever. our circle. <laughs> but... You no, know, that's what would be well, a great... Well, okay, order her. And then she'll oh. pay me. Yeah, right. I'll buy um, you shiny things. Aw. Like knives and... Okay, anyways. <laughs> like um, spatulas. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really want to do, uh, like, I want to say more stuff, but really it's not more stuff because I haven't done anything in, in like a year and a half. But, um, yeah, I'd love to get back into, like, doing Let's Plays and just about not trying to be like Mr. Perfect at the games and stuff like that and just having fun and yeah so yeah don't be like Kurt Hennig yeah uh, Kurt Angle what <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna not listen to the crowd I'm not gonna listen to the crowd and I'm gonna like TNA it ooh tits and ass um, <laughs> TNA has a crowd oh. apologize to our oh. one female viewer thank you <laughs> Wait, you. <laughs> why are you apologizing? Stop that. <laughs> apologizing to the air. She's probably listening. Oh, uh, okay. See, it wasn't you. Yeah, okay, you good. said it wasn't me. Uh, not purple. No. I told, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we guy. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was trying to get air in this podcast, but she's away. Wait, I got some air right now. Stop <laughs> <laughs> practicing while we're in the middle of something, we guy. That actually sounded like you didn't have any air, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Um... More good stuff to come from S2K. I'm gonna contribute. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my best foot forward. I don't know which one it is, but I'm gonna do it. Right one. Yeah. Sure. Just make sure you don't put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> and everything be good. Yeah. Be great. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Maybe we're gonna have starts. Let's just start doing that too. Yeah. Uh, we we just be talking about you starting an LP. It's all right if you can. I know you got loads of work. I mean, we want to have you in every commentary. And to have you do an LP, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Let's uh, let's play Star Soldiers Collection. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, please. I'll take all of it. Well, he does an LP oh. of every single game in one video, which is about a hundred eight hours long. <laughs> Or he plays ten seconds of every game. Yeah. <laughs> Start screen. All right. I do have a six-hour Let's Play of Military Madness. You do? <laughs> I actually do. All I mean, right, let's do it. It's Long on a sled, though, so <laughs> everything's wow. on a bad angle. Ooh, wow. send it to registry. Yeah. Where, where did that come out? It, I didn't release it yet. <laughs> oh. Okay, um... It's, and uh, what is that? And yeah, what is that? Oh, Military Madness. It's an old Turbo Graphic Sit Scene game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I played six hours of it straight just so I can get the world record on it. Wow. Oh, okay. Did you get it? 
No, not yet. I haven't submitted it yet. Oh, Unfortunately, you had to... I was going to say, then you would be Military Madness Air Champion, or Champion. Yeah. World Champ, yeah. Not Air Zonk. Which I think Air Zonk's yeah, better. Yeah, Air Zonk. Air Zonk's Did better Did you anyway. get another? Um, wasn't there another one you got? Yeah, Magical Chase. <gasps> okay. Awesome. Magical Chippy Chase? Yeah. That game is $2,000 on eBay right now. What? <laughs> Wow. I couldn't believe it. It's what? like in a world championships. No, <laughs> championships is like ten thousand. Well, jeez, if that's worth ten thousand dollars, <laughs> if that's worth ten thousand dollars, how much is the ECW World Championships worth? <laughs> no, I wish I was J Man. I wish I was. Let's see here. I could either buy it like a car or put a down payment on a house, or I could buy a Nintendo game. It depends on how much of a hardcore video game collector lover you are and how much passion you have for video games. Or if you're lucky like Ryan and got it for seven hundred seventy hundred or seventy hundred is that seventy hundred? Seven oh oh there. And you're in college. <laughs> <laughs> I got I'm not for taking, seven some. Yeah, I'm not taking a speech class. I'm taking like, you know, math and right well oh, I should yeah. Kids pay attention. This is <laughs> why this is this is why college graduates are working at McDonald's. Seventy hundred. This this is your seventy eight hundred. This now look, kids. This is your brain. This is your brain on lulls. Yep. Any questions? You'll get shot. To, <laughs> you'll get shot to death by Batman. I'm hungry for AIDS now. Are you happy? <laughs> All right, and so I guess that is it for our fourth year anniversary podcast. Uh, Shortest one. What? Shortest one. Yep. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and Shortest hopefully, one. uh, you know, fifth year anniversary podcast. We have more ECW memories to talk about. And so, yeah, here's to uh, a great 2013. And, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the LPs we got coming. So that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. J-Man. Purple. And that is it. Stars on your... <laughs> oh, yeah. Air Zonk World Champ. New <laughs> name. <laughs> All right. Bye, and Sonny. the Ultimate Supreme Wii guy. God bless. Take care. Cheers. I like that show.